Hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, today we want to discuss uh, how to combine the zigzag pattern and Fibonacci. How to combine the zigzag pattern and Fibonacci. Uh, the financial instrument that we are about to analyze is CERNA Corporation. If my pronunciation is not correct, feel free to laugh loudly, my friend. The epic is uh, C E R N. Okay, C E R N. This is an American stock that is listed on the NASDAQ 100, and I'm on the monthly chart. All right, so we're going to start the wave count and we're going to show you the ultimate uh, okay objective of this tutorial is to show traders how to combine the zigzag pattern all right and fibonacci all right okay so i'm going to use uh, two reference points we talked about this before in order to polish your wave count you must use what we call the reference point okay specific times in the financial market so i'm using the 2003 we know that it, in 2003 the s p 500 has uh, okay started a bullish trend all right and uh, that uh, and also we have uh, in 2009 another reference point where the stock market okay started a bullish trend so i'm using two reference points okay to help my wave count to polish my wave count all right and then you will see that there is a zigzag pattern okay on this chart and we want to combine the zigzag pattern okay show traders how to combine the zigzag pattern and fibonacci all right now i've done a bit of homework to avoid that the video is too long so bear with me as we are going a little bit faster now all right so using a reference point 2009 which is the early the, 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 the most recent point so we have a first wave second wave all right third in your wave fourth in your wave and a fifth in your wave followed by a tiny correction here and then people at this point in time at that point in time a lot of uh, traders will be thinking that a correction will begin all right, so they count one, two, three, four, five wave, and they are thinking that a correction may begin. But it is also an earlier way mistake to think that a, a bigger correction will take place because why? An impulse wave can be subdivided into five. So we are talking about the first wave, third wave, and a fifth wave, which can be extended talking about the area wave extension but it is normal for traders when they see one two three four five to expect a correction and here it is this is just your correction but remember that when you come one two three four five all right this is a wave count on a specific time frame and that wave count may be a mini cycle of a bigger cycle very often if uh, you count one two three four five wave and that uh, one two three four five wave the multi wave is just a mini wave of a bigger wave the, your expectation for a bigger correction will not take place i hope uh, it makes sense so one two three four five all right and then there is a pullback all right so here we will say that there is, this is a multi wave one two three four five waves okay that's a multi wave all right so a multi wave is completed right here so we'll be saying all right where is the correction here it is that's just the correction because this uh, multi wave is a part of a bigger uh, wave cycle all right am i making sense okay then we have again first wave all right second wave third wave is that a third wave i leave it exactly there fourth wave is he overlapping the first wave not exactly all right you see here let's zoom into it zoom into it okay so the top of it is right here is not overlapping it all right 
fourth wave, you see the tail of this candle is not overlapping the the high of the first wave. It's not dipping below the high of the first wave. Right, so that is no area of evaluation. First wave, second wave, third wave, and the fifth wave. <laughs> All right, you see that? Just there. That's your fifth wave. So you can see that uh, the third area wave is not the shortest wave. This is the shortest wave, which is the fifth wave. So once again, feel free to disagree with my wave count. Feel free to bang the table, all right? To say, George, where did you learn your area wave count? All right, so one, two, three, four, five. Correction, one, two, three, four, five. All right, no area wave violation in both cases, all right? So now we, we see now another correction is taking place here. Boom. That's the correction. I'm going to color it again to pink. And we're going to see now very soon the zigzag pattern that we are talking about. And then we have, okay, one straight move. What's going on, my friend, George? Now, you see, if you put it together, now you will see that uh, by using a reference point 2009, 2003, I, as I told you, I've done my homework to avoid that the video is too long. All right, we can go a little bit deeper. So this can be your homework. Did I say homework? All right. <laughs> All right, you can check it out. if uh, Because I know traders that are serious area with traders, and they will go and check everything out. So, All right. So, all right, so using the reference point 2003 and 2009, okay, this is, okay, the first wave of the bigger cycle. All right, you remember what I was saying to you? A bigger cycle is somewhere else, all right, on a higher time frame. A wave count of a higher degree, all right, a wave count of a lower degree, all right, that's why we must use different time frame to, to validate our area wave count, to polish our area wave count, all right? So, so this is the first wave of the bigger cycle, second wave. Now, what's, what we are doing here, from 2009, that's the, two, that's the third area wave of that bigger cycle, all right? From 2009 to 2015, we were in a third area wave of that bigger cycle, right here. First wave, all right, okay. First wave started from 2003. We know that the stock market has started a bullish day in 2003 and also 2009. And there's somewhere in 2007 when the financial crisis is about to begin and then the correction has started. Now the third in your way has begun in 2009. But that third in your wave, okay, as you can see here, one, two, three, four, five is a multi wave. That's the first manner wave of that third in your wave. Am I making sense? That's the first manner wave of the third wave, the bigger third wave. Let's call it the bigger third wave into orange. All right, so that's, a, that's, that's ending here. That's the second mono wave of the bigger third area wave, and that's the third mono wave of the bigger cycle from here to here. That's the third mono wave of the bigger third wave. One, two, three, four, five. What a funny third area wave. Now, you, have, you can clearly see that there is no area wave violation here because um, the third wave, the third mono wave of the third wave is not the shortest mono wave. You can see it's longer than the fifth mono wave of the third wave. So this is the fifth mono wave of the third wave. Is it, is it, you see now? That's the fifth mono wave of the third wave, all right? So from here all the way up here, that's uh, the third wave. This is the second mono wave of the third wave, and this is the fourth mono wave of the third wave. And one more time, no area wave violation. If I move this line, you can see that, uh, uh, oops, okay, no bad. The high of uh, the first wave is here. And if we draw a line there, there's no area wave violation. The fourth mono wave of the third wave is not overlapping the high of the first mono wave of the third wave. Now, George, tell me where is that zigzag pattern? And uh, let's, start, let's start talking about uh, okay, Fibonacci, how we can combine Fibonacci and a zigzag pattern. 
But because you remember, before we can talk about corrective wave, we, we have to talk about motive wave. All right? Very important. So we want to know what is going on. Before we can start talking about the zigzag pattern, we have to analyze the, the, the price structure. And here is your zigzag pattern developing here. And uh, there is a high channel today. <laughs> All right, this talk. Uh, now Corporation, C-E-R-N. Uh, stock has a high chance to break below. So what we will say, I will need to put a line here now. Priority to bullish signal above 5025. Just what do you mean by that? All right. Priority to bearish signal below 5025. What do you mean by that, George? We say both, retest turn around, break below, retest turn around. All right. So we are now below 5025. Looking at the price structure of this, uh, okay, Cerna Corporation. Why are you not putting a the comment there, okay? To tell me, all right? I want to know. Is my pronunciation correct? <laughs> all right. All right. So here we are. So look at this one, okay? One, okay, the zigzag pattern. So first thing first, what's the price structure, the internal waves of the a zigzag pattern? Okay, it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. That's the price structure of a zigzag pattern. A beautiful pattern if you are a, a swing trader, a position trader. Oh, my friend, feel free to learn to master the zigzag pattern. Beautiful pattern. All right? Are you a swing trader? Are you a position trader? Even are you a day trader, you can use the zigzag pattern. It's a nice pattern. So where are they? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, George. But the pattern is not yet completed, so it's developing. And if you have an eagle eye, you will see that it's developing. And you will see that one, two, three, four, five is overlapping. So contrary to the, this one here, first wave, second wave, third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave, we can see that the wave are not overlapping, which is a clear indication to us that we are dealing with a multi wave. Yeah, you look at it. One, two, three, four, five, but they are overlapping. Here we we know straight away that this is not what a motiway. That's the first thing. Should start clicking for you. This is not a motiway. This is a corrective way. Straight away. Bam, bam, bam. All right. It's a corrective because they are overlapping. One, two, three, four, five. They are overlapping. So the first pattern. If you see that it's a correction, you see that, that one, two, three, four, five overlapping, the first area of a pattern that should click in your mind, because there is a trader that was asking me to record more video about correcting wave. It's happening now, all right? So, the first area of a pattern that should come into your mind is the zigzag pattern. And now we're going to combine the zigzag pattern as it's developing now with what? The Fibonacci. So you see that uh, I'm on the target, I'm on the topic, I'm not straying away from the main topic, combining the zigzag pattern and the Fibonacci. But you, it's good exercise to know where we are, so it is very important. Where are we? Where are we going? And here we are, so we can understand what's going on here now. All right? So now we see one, two, three, four, five, first part. So the zigzag pattern is from, it's a, an ABC pattern, ABC, corrective wave. All right, like the flat correction is also ABC, but the price structure of the zigzag pattern is different from the price structure of a flat correction, which is also another ABC corrective way. For the flat correction is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. For the zigzag is one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. All right. So, what is, so here it is, you can see here, now it's not going up. And then you see it came down a bit, yes or no? Don't disagree. If, if you disagree, it means that you are not counting wave like a little children, all right? Here it is. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Now what are we expecting? We are expecting one, two, three, four, five. Down. And there is a target for, so, as I, explain, as I was explaining to you, all right, the zigzag pattern is an ABC pattern, like the flat correction, respecting a specific structure, all right, like harmonic patterns, all right, 
Usually, my friend, the B part of the zigzag pattern will, re will rally up to the 50% and the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level of the A part of the zigzag pattern. So now we are combining a pattern that is developing with Fibonacci all right, retracement. So once you have identified the, the A part of the zigzag pattern, which is subdivided into five man away, one, two, three, four, five, that's the A part of the zigzag pattern that is developing now, the first thing that you need to do is to apply Fibonacci retracement to that A part of the zigzag pattern and to highlight the 50% and the 61.8% Fibonacci uh, retracement level of the A part of the zigzag pattern. Remember that uh, uh, the, 50, the zone between the 50% and the 61.8% Fibonacci uh, retracement level of uh, uh, Fibonacci retracement level is what we call the sweet spot zone. So you want to highlight what we call the sweet spot zone. So, am I talking too fast? All right, let me know in the comment section because we don't want the video to be too long. Okay, let's call it that. Uh, see the green line and two quarters line? Let's zoom into it a bit. So that the green line is the 50% Fibonacci retracement level of the A part of the zigzag pattern, and the turquoise line is uh, all right, the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level of uh, the A part of the zigzag pattern. So as we have seen one, two, three, four, five down overlapping, we know straight away that this is uh, a corrective way. So first thing first, it's a corrective way. And the first correct way that is coming to our mind is the zigzag part. All right. And now we all we do as before the price even reach this zone, there will be orders packed here to sell. <laughs> you see, they sold it here, yes or no? As a day trader, you can take advantage of that. All right. You can take advantage of that on any time frame. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. And what we recommend to trader is to use all the time a multiple time frame trading method. So don't just sell because there are traders there or out there who do not know how to use multiple time frame trading method. I feel sorry for those traders. Unless they are not trading with their own money, or they are trading with their client money, or maybe they don't care about their clients. All right. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, all right, so, all right. Multiple time frame trading method. This is a, a bearish trading setup here. Use a top down trading method. Use the TSCWSY008. Boom, down. You see now? So, first time you are come as the zigzag pattern is developing, you recognize the A part of the zigzag pattern. So, first thing that is going to come to your mind, you see how you remember, I always talk about this, and you'll be wondering, George, are you repeating yourself too much, George? Now here it is. As we were here, you see it come down one, two, three. Suppose you were here, okay? You see it came down like this. One, two, three. What are you going to say? The first pattern that is going to come to your mind is what? Is the flat correction. So you may say, Joe, you say that it's going to be a flat correction. But now it's a zigzag. But this is what we are talking about. The wave count is dynamic, all right? It's one step at a time, all right? It's step by step, okay? So you see here like this, one, two, three, well, all I would do, I'll just put a line there. It looks to me that we will have a flat correction. Therefore, I will be giving priority to bullish signal above five, nine, seven, eight, and priority to bear signal below it. Here it is. So as it bounces out like, up like this, we are thinking that the flat correction is developing. You see now? And then, you see, one step at a time, but it's, it didn't, go up to form a flat correction but it is correct it is normal for any of a practitioner as the part is developing one two three here they will be thinking that a flat correction is brewing is developing and now here it is they want to buy it up which they bought it so prior to bullish signal above five nine seven eight it's not bad decision Prior going up watch the first resistance level where is the first resistance level here it is Celsius seven to one. All right, this this is changing direction here. So you bought it here. Your first list is there. You see. So 
This is what is going on. But now, it's as it break below this level here, we say, wow, 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 hold on a second, hold on a second. It's not a flat correction. You see now? Okay? But it's, it's one, two, three. You are thinking of a flat correction. Here it is, four, five. Now you see it. As it break below this level here, this low here, you are thinking of the flat correction now. You are thinking of the zigzag pattern. So one, two, three, four, five, overlapping. Now you will be highlighting the 50% and the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level of the A part of that zigzag pattern. Here it is. Boom. This one is everybody, the swing traders. This is what the swing traders love. So as a swing trader, you can see like this, you must have first a multi-way that the zigzag pattern is correcting. Don't call everything zigzag pattern if it's not correcting anything. All right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Into the 50% and 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level. Now the target for the C part of the zigzag pattern. Remember what I said to you before. All the ABC corrective wave. As uh, the C part of all ABC corrective wave uh, is subdivided into five mano wave. Am I making sense? So, whenever you see any ABC correction, all right, the C part of that ABC correction will be subdivided into five mano wave. So, remember the flat correction is a, an ABC corrective wave formed of one, two, three, that's the A. One, two, three, that's the B, but the C part of the flat correction is also subdivided into five. One, two, three, four, five. For the zigzag pattern, is also another ABC correction wave. The A for the zigzag is subdivided into five, the, the B into three. But in all cases, the C part of any ABC correction wave will be subdivided into five. Very important. Well, for the zigzag pattern, it is very important for traders to understand that if it's truly, truly uh, anodally, all right, anodally, okay, zigzag pattern, the B part of the zigzag pattern will stop somewhere near, in a zone, uh, will spot somewhere near uh, the 50%, the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level of the A part of the zigzag pattern. We are dealing here with of a zigzag pattern. So, we will expect another move down, one, two, three, four, five down. The target for the end of the C part of the zigzag pattern, my friend, which we, I talked about it before, right? you want to highlight the 138.2%, the 161.8%, even the 200% Fibonacci extension level of the A part of the zigzag pattern. Repeat, the 138.2%, the 161.8%, even 200% Fibonacci extension level of the A part of the zigzag pattern. So here it is for traders, but in all cases do not assume anything. As I explained to you, the wave count or the area wave technical analysis is one step at a time, step by step, my friend. All right. Because the reason why I talk sometimes like this, to them say, John, where are, who are you to talk to me like this? Well, unless you are very, very new, all right, you may say that, all right, because sometimes I see some comment, I forgive traders sometimes because I understand that they are new. But by the way they are talking, I know straight away this person is a new trader. So we can't start slapping that trader and say, wow, 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 you shouldn't be. I don't get upset with traders, okay, because I can understand, okay, this person probably is new, all right, you will get it maybe later, okay, that's fine. All right, so now we're going to apply the Fibonacci. Um, extension to the hold on please to the a part of uh, the zigzag pattern right so as i promise you we are all right we are combining the zigzag pattern with i want to see clearly the high of uh, this candlestick bar here so let me get my uh, forecast accurate. I think so. I think that's there. All right. Now I need to get the low correctly. Something like that. And I want to highlight which level, my friend. 138.2%. That's the first line there. The 161.8%. 
Ah, I have 214%, but I will change it to 200% in this case because that's the level. I say even, all right? Remember, I use my word carefully, even, because it's, uh, an, it's not frequent that the C part or the zigzag pattern, okay, goes to the 200% level, but sometime it will go there. That's why I'm saying even the 200% a Fibonacci extension level, even, all right, even, all right. Sometime the C part or the zigzag part will go even to the two hundred percent Fibonacci extension level of the A part of the zigzag part. So those are the key level that we will be monitoring for sell. Will he reach it? Something that we say definitely, no, not definitely. All right, don't 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 say things like that. All right, it's not definitely. All right, he has a high chance to reach that level. Speak like a, a market analyst. He has a high chance. All right, there is a high probability that this stock, slowly but gradually, will reach forty dollars at least, or even thirty-four dollars. In the worst case scenario. $24 level. I doubt it that you reach $24 level. But there is a high chance that you will reach the $40 level. How is, he, is he, how is he going to reach that level? We will see. According to the Elliott Way principle, we are looking at a zigzag pattern and we are now in the C part of the zigzag pattern. Can this financial instrument, now a trader may say, can this financial instrument find a support here and start going up like this? That's a very good question. Yes, it can. <laughs> yes, it can. All right, yes, it can. Or sometimes you may see like this. Let me let, let me go through this because it's so important. How long be 26 minutes? Okay, we'll wrap it up soon. Sometimes we need to see this what we are talking about, the reality of the market. So it all looks beautiful like this, and sometimes you will see that the price will not show the C part of the flag correction, may not show the one, two, three, four, five wave down. Now, why? Because <laughs> this is why we do you play computer games? Okay, do you do racing? The last lap, what usually takes place in the last lap? Or right? even if you watch the Olympic okay, races, you will see that in the last lap. Okay, people tend to speed up, or everybody is speeding up to catch up because this is the last lap. Whenever you see a pattern, or like ABC pattern, the C part of the ABC is the last lap, so to speak. All right. So usually everybody sees it now. It's now clear to most in your way traders that all right, we are dealing with a zigzag pattern here. It is, and everybody is jumping on it, and sometimes. The C part of the zigzag pattern may not be clear to trade. You will be expecting a clear count one, two, three, four, five, but you may not see it. The reason is because the last lap can be quite speedy, and you may see the prime may just go pew down. So you may see this candle extending because it's a monthly candle, can just go pew, all the way to the $40. Then you will be saying that, George. I was expecting one, two, three, four, five. But those one, two, three, four, five waves that you were expecting are hidden inside those candlestick bar because it went too fast that no one can see, okay, the normal structure. So I need to mention that so you can be aware of it. All right? Strange things, all right, do happen. That's why we go one step at a time. So price going down, price looking for a better support level. Now we are now in the C part of the zigzag pattern. It's now at the support level, $50.25. Priority to bullish signal above, a priority to bear signal below. All right. Sometimes you, you will see it. It will be clear cut, one, two, three, four, five. The reason why I need to mention this is how this candle, you see on the monthly chart, how they just come, came down like this. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three. You see, this is the, the phenomenon that we see during the last lap. All right. One, you just go down, one, two, boom, 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 down. So I'm wondering where is the one, two, three, four, five. So I need to warn traders that sometimes you may not see it, that you may see a candle just go, phew. And then $40, and the price start changing direction. You say, George, where is the one, two, three, four, five? All right? 
one step at a time and respect the support and the resistance level. All right? Talking about how to combine the zigzag pattern and the Fibonacci, the B part of the zigzag pattern, we want to highlight what? The 50% and the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level of the A part of the zigzag pattern. Setting the target for the end of the C part of the zigzag pattern, we want to use the 138.2%, the 161.8%, even the 200% Fibonacci extension level of the C part of correction of the A part of the zigzag pattern. All right, so the level of $40 is a possible reversal zone for this talk. The level of $34 is also a possible reversal zone. Even the 200% is also a possible reversal zone for this stock. In a non daily manner, the zigzag pattern is from the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave, 1, 2, 3, all right? And we should see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down. But sometimes, because of the C part is quite speedy, it's the last lap, so to speak, you may not see, okay, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 clearly. You just see pew down, all right? Be aware of it. So in this case, like this, it's going fast, like this, no showing. One, two, three, four, five, how do you trade it? You wait for one candle to close, so when this candle bar is closed, because I'm recording this video today, on the 16th of November, once this candle is closed at the end of November, we draw a line at the low of that candle bar, we say priority to bullish signal above, and priority to bear signal below. So what we are looking for, break below, retest, turn around, if it's going to continue to go down, that's how we trade it if it's going too fast, all right? This is the end of uh, this tutorial today, talking about uh, how to combine the zigzag pattern and Fibonacci. If you have any question or suggestion or comment, or I put in the comment section, and do course, I will be busy recording another video to answer your specific uh, question. We are the TSTW24 uh, traders, talking about how to combine the zigzag pattern and Fibonacci. Happy trading to you all and I'll speak to you soon. This video is for educational purposes only. It's neither a solicitation nor an offer to buy or sell CERNA Corporation.